All right, so welcome to our holiday card bonanza today. We're going to send some cards. We're going to answer some questions. We're going to walk through the send out card system so you can see how amazingly fabulous and wonderful it is. I would love to have each of you introduce yourselves and say who you are. And um, if you have a, a, a plan today, are you going to send your card? You just want to learn something? What What is your intention for this call? So you can just go ahead, unmute yourself and, and tell us who you are. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm Okay. Okay, Miriam, you're you're actually on your phone so you don't need to unmute. Okay. Okay, try talking now, Marianne. Try what? Okay, now you're there. Okay. Yep. Okay, I'm I'm Marianne Radel and I was from Alexandria, Minnesota. However, I'm uh, homeless now. <laughs> I, I haven't figured out a place to live. I'm currently at my daughter's in Phoenix, Arizona with my daughter and three granddaughters. And I will be returning to Minnesota, which is, I met Pam this summer, wasn't it Pam at boot camp? Yes, yes it was. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, and that, that for our first class. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been friends with a relative of hers that's a wonderful lady from Iowa. So it was really fun getting to meet Pamela. Beautiful, beautiful. And you popped on today because you were just curious about the system and Pamela said it was awesome and so you trusted her. Absolutely. And also <laughs> because I have no address. So <laughs> Very good. <laughs> yeah. But once you do have an address, you can send out cards <laughs> to let people know. <laughs> so I can send out can I send out cards from this address? Yep, you can send them from wherever you are. That's mm -hmm. what I was thinking, yes. So I thought it would come in handy. <laughs> it will. It will. Beautiful. All right. Becca, Pamela, you want to introduce yourselves? Well, I am Pamela Grover, and I am a Send Out Cards distributor. Um, and Jean, you are in my upline, my lovely upline. And um, I'm just, I've been a distributor for a couple years and it's just very exciting. It's a great tool. I love working with businesses and of course with individuals as well. Awesome. Glad you're here. Cool. Me? Yep. Hi, I'm Becca Atkins. I'm a, I'm a brandy spanking news send out cards distributor so much so that I hardly know what that means yet. But I met Jean in a in co-working club online and uh, she introduced me to send out cards and I'm it's making me happier than anything I've done in a long time. So I'm just delighted with the possibilities of it. And I mean, it's so easy. You describe it to a person and they definitely want to try it. So I guess my goal for today is I'm going to watch the person who has a gift account and see how that works so that I can give a gift account to this lady who just did my ultrasound. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Who's very intrigued by the whole thing. <laughs> Excellent. Love it. Love it. Very good. Lisa, you want to say hey? Yes. Hello. I am Lisa. <laughs> Bote, I normally do not sound this sexy. Just, so, <laughs> just say it. Um, uh, I have been a distributor uh, exactly as long as Jean has been <laughs> because we signed up the same day. Um, at her house. So uh, I've been doing send out cards for over nine years. And, um, and you'd think that, you know, with someone, well, gee, we must know everything. Yeah, we don't. So <laughs> that's why I'm on here. Because like, I know there's always something for me to learn. So that's why I'm on. And I just, and you know, sometimes, sometimes I actually can answer a question or two, too. So there you go. <laughs> Beautiful. Thanks for hanging out, Lisa. Glad you're here. Glad you're all here. And so our intention today, of course, is to send some cards and walk through the system so you can see how it works. And um, it's, it's and, and like Becca said, it's actually pretty intuitive. You send cards, people love you. And so, of course, I've been using Send Out Cards with my business um, for the last few years. Um, prior to that, I was doing Send Out Cards mostly full time. and um, 
what's amazing is, so last year I had a lady, I met her through a referral. Um, I had a single conversation with her. During that conversation, we thought maybe we had some things in common. Um, I recommended one of my products and that she check it out. And um, I sent her a card with some brownies. She called me three days later. She signed up for a $2,600 program with me. And, um, and it wasn't that, you know, would she have done that anyway? Maybe. But what she said is that she loved the culture of giving and win-win and all those kind of things. And so, of course, did I send it to her thinking that she was going to buy something from me? No, I sent it because I loved her and I thought I wanted to send her something fun. And that's just what happens when you send out love. And so, of course, holidays is a natural time to send out love. I have a pretty big list of cards that I send out at, the ho at holiday time. I usually send about 600 cards. Um, and I can do it in about 10 minutes. Now, holiday cards, I do spend a little more time than the 10 minutes that, you know, I might invest on a campaign card. <laughs> um, but this is, it, it can be really, really simple. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here. Send out cards. There it goes. What did I land in? Oh, I landed in Facebook, I think. <laughs> we're on our, our event page. Here we go. Send out cards. No, that's not where we're going. So it's that one. Here we go. Now we're on the send out cards. Can you see my send out cards page and the dashboard there? Is that what you're seeing? Mm-hmm. Get a thumbs yeah. up, yes? Okay, cool. <laughs> Excellent. So to send a, a holiday card, you know, of course, if you want to just send a card, you can just click on the card catalog right here. And if you're brand new and you've never sent a card in the system yet and someone like Pam or Becca has sent you a link and you're saying, what am I supposed to do with this? And you land on this page. And it, it just looks like this. Well, it doesn't have this big dashboard in the center. It just says card catalog at the top. All you do is click on that card catalog. And when you're brand new, what's going to happen is actually there's going to be a little box that pops up here. Now, you can't see it on mine because I don't, I'm not new, right? But it pops up a box and says, do you want to walk through? You want to say yes to that. Because what happens then is Jules Price, a cute redhead, pops up on your screen and she says, you want to send a card? I'll show you how. <laughs> and it's pretty awesome. And she walks you through step by step exactly how to send your card. And it's ultimately what we're going to do today is I'm going to walk you through sending a card. We're just going to do it a little bit different way because I want to use the campaign function. Campaign function allows you to send that same card to a whole bunch of people all on different dates. Now, if I want to send one card and I want to send it to five people right now, I can do it right from the card catalog here, and I can choose five people and hit send. But if tomorrow I decide I have one more person to send that card to, then I have to go back and recreate it. Although I've heard that they're changing that, so you can resurrect old cards. So we'll see if that feature is showing up yet. Yeah, it, it does it, show it up. It does it show up. Possible. You can resurrect an old card, yeah. Perfect. Yep. Yeah, so I, I heard that that was coming. I have not tried it yet. But I still find that the campaign function is an easier way to go find a card, hit send, and be done. And so I love using it for birthday cards, for holiday cards, for my Valentine's cards, because I love sending Valentine's cards. And so that's the function we're going to use. And so to use the campaigns, you would go right to the main menu. But before we do that, I want to talk about a really cool feature. Because when you get to the campaigns, there's something called custom branding. And what custom branding does for you is it puts a custom back on the back of your card. And you can see under my main menu under account, whoops, it says custom brand manager here. When you have that feature, that item shows up in your main menu. If you do not have that feature, it doesn't show up. Now, send out cards accounts are all free. You can go in and send cards, and you do not have to pay to access the system, and you simply pay for the cards and gifts you send. Now, if you send them on the basic system, you see this card right here with the Send Out Cards logo on the back? That is how your card will go with that on the back, kind of like a Hallmark card with the Hallmark thing on the back. 
if you have custom branding, however, you get to choose exactly what's on the back, which is really fun, especially if you have your own business or if you want to do it for personal use. So you can see I built, you can have up to 10 different backs on the back. So I have actually 10 different backs here on the back of my cards. And this one with the berry patch on that, that's the one I usually use for um, holidays and that kind of thing. But I'm actually going to build a different one today so you can see how that works. And so I'm going to take this one here, which I don't need anymore. I used it for a, a business function. And I'm going to go ahead and edit that one. And I'm going to delete the picture that's on it. And so now I have a blank slate for creating the back of a card. And I'm going to go ahead and choose um, this layout, which allows it to show both addresses at the top, put some words, and put a picture. So to put a picture, I just have to go to my photos, which I've uploaded, and I'll show you how to upload them in just a minute. But I'm going to actually just choose um, one of these ornaments that I popped in. In fact, I think we'll just pick that one. And we'll move it up a little bit. So now I'll just have an ornament on the back of my card. I'll move my face out of the way. There we go. And just, whoops, that moved over a little bit. There we go. So now we have an ornament on the back, and I'm going to add some words. Just Merry Christmas. Whoops. <clears throat> Happy New Year. I'm going to change the font on that because I don't like that one. All the fonts are right here at the bottom. <clears throat> uh, we'll pick a pretty one. We'll pick that one. Change the color to red because it's Christmas. We'll make it a little bit bigger. And typically on personal cards, I don't put any other message on there at all on the back, except for this particular one because I have lots of new people that sometimes get my Christmas cards. I'm going to put a link. So if someone actually wanted to find how to make a card like this, they can find it. So if they go to veryberrycards.com, it takes them to that link which is just like send out cards forward slash id and um so i'm going to include that on the back and i'm going to center that there we go whoops i let's see m there we go okay very very cards and done okay so now you can see i've created this lovely custom back oh it didn't make it red for me why did it do that Hmm. It says it's there. Maybe it will show up later. <laughs> well, we'll just say done. See if there's something going on with that. All right, so now you can see that custom back is sitting right here. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. A nice ornament on the back and we're done. Okay, so now that I have my back done, I'm gonna go ahead and create that campaign card. And this is under the main menu is campaign manager. Now, if you totally come to this again, you're like, I have no idea, I don't remember what Jean said, I don't know what to do, right here is a how-to campaigns. It will walk you through everything we're gonna do today in a very simple and short way, and so you can do your own campaigns. So if you click campaign manager, so we're actually just gonna create a campaign with one card in it, which is a holiday card, but you can create campaigns that have three or four cards in them that send throughout the year. So if you're running a business or, in fact, if it's your family and you just wanna give them a holiday card, a birthday card, and a Valentine's card, you can set those all up at the beginning of the year, hit send, your family will think you're a rock star, and they'll try to figure out how you remembered all their birthdays. And you just have a system, and it's pretty awesome. So you can see I have lots of campaigns in here. Um, we're gonna, all these Christmas cards are in here. We're gonna create a new campaign. So we just click on the blue button here, create a new campaign. We're gonna call it Christmas 2017. We're gonna change the return address to both me and my husband. And then we're gonna select that back that we chose for this one by just putting a check right there on the green check on our Merry Christmas back and we're gonna save our campaign. So now we have a campaign set up that's ready to go. Now all we need to do is add a card. So right here it says create a new card for that campaign. We're gonna click on that one. Um, and because there's only one card, we can leave it named as card one and hit continue. So I really like to do 
picture plus cards, which means I'm going to put my own pictures throughout the whole card. I'm not going to do a stock card. Now, if you just want to choose a stock card, it can make it really easy to send a card fast. You go ahead to the left-hand side here, and um, we're going to choose holidays, hit Christmas, and it's going to show us all kinds of possible choices. You see there's seven pages of Christmas cards in there that you could certainly peruse and choose a beautiful card that would um, show, ooh, I kind of like that believe one, isn't it pretty? And if you click on a card, it'll pop up bigger so you can see it and you can see what it says. Um, if there's a little arrow next to it, it means that there's a greeting on the inside. So if you click on the inside, it'll show you what's on the inside of that card. And so lots and lots of choices. But today, I'm gonna go ahead and create a Picture Plus 2.0 card. Sorry, my thing is beeping at me. There we go. And you get to choose then the layout. There's postcards. There's regular greeting, five by seven greeting cards. There are three panel cards, and I'm going to show you some examples of those in a minute. And then there's big, huge cards. They're 11 and a half by 8.2. They're pretty awesome. <laughs> and if you haven't done a big card, you should try one. Becca, you did a big, huge card for someone, didn't you? I did. I got an amazing response. <laughs> Oh, exactly. I know. They, they totally get amazing response, especially when you put pictures of them, and it, yeah. well, it's just a big wow. <laughs> um, so I'm going to actually create a 5 by 7 green card. I like the vertical templates. It's because they stand up nicely on the table, and even at Christmas time, if people use those little clips and everything, if they clip your card on it, they can still open it and look at it. So that's why I like the vertical template. But sometimes you, if you have a horizontal picture, you just want to do that one, so that's okay too. But my go-to is the vertical template, and if you just click on that, it then opens up the... Here it comes, all right. And now you can see this, this is the front of the card. It simply says, drag your image here. There are a bunch of cool options you can do right now. Now, if you just wanted to put a single picture on the front of that, all you need to do is click on your pictures, we can upload a picture. I'm going to click on this button that says upload a picture. You click on the big upload and it allows you to peruse through your system. Now I took this picture of myself this morning. You might have seen it on Facebook. So I'm going to go ahead and open that one and upload it. And you see there it is. It pops right there in my menu. If you just grab that and pull it over, that could be the front of your card and you could be done. But I'm not going to do that one today because, you know, that's kind of boring, right? <laughs> So if we go back to templates, there's lots of choices here on templates. On this little tab here, there are, if you bring it all the way to the top, there are Christmas and Secret Greetings templates. And if you click on that, it will show you all these cool templates. And so if I drag that one over, you see this one says Believe. And then if I grab my picture again and put it there, now I have a picture with a little Believe thing on there. Or I can go back to those templates. I could do this one. Ooh, that's kind of pretty, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> There's that one. I know, a sparkly thing's going on. Um, we have this one. That's interesting. Ooh, that's pretty, too, with the happy holidays on the bottom. Very cool. We have a holly jolly. Merry Christmas with antlers. So many choices. And so you can see there's lots of different interesting things that you could do with are the templates that are already there. So I'm gonna be just a little more fancy. Ooh, that's kind of pretty too. <laughs> I like them all. We'll have all of them going. Is instead of any one of those, which they're all quite beautiful. Dang, I like all of them. All right, <laughs> but I'm still gonna choose, instead of going to one of those, I'm gonna go, Ooh, those are cool too. View all. No, I don't want that. To basic layouts. And this is where you can actually drop um, pictures in. So I'm going to grab actually this big one that has um, a bunch of different pictures on it. There we go. And you can see earlier when, you, when I pulled up the pictures here, I uploaded a bunch of pictures of ornaments from my tree. And so I'm just going to drag those onto here. And you see it's not quite where I want it to be. There's a little hand in the center, and I can just pull it over and put that little ornament where I want it to be. 
Let's put that one on. There we go. We got this nice little angel. Let's see if we can pop that in one of those. Uh, is it going to let me do that? Let's see. Oh, here's one, a nice little one. There we go. That's not where I want it either. There we go. Pop that one up. We'll put... This little cute picture of, you know, this is one of those little um, ones that your kids make in preschool. <laughs> That's my son when he was four. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> and we'll put that one there. There we go. So now I have all these pictures in here. Of course, you could pick any pictures that you've uploaded or anything else that you want. I kind of like this ornament one. Um, and I want to put a background on there too. So if I go to elements, Again, if we scroll down to the Christmas area, there's all kinds of choices. We have backgrounds and borders. Let's go ahead and click on that. Whoops. And I'm just gonna pick one of these pretty backgrounds. Oh, I kinda like this one. And it's, it just looks kinda like a piece of paper. And I'm just gonna, whoops, grow it. So it fills the whole page. And then I'm gonna click this button that says back and I'm gonna send it to the back. So now it's behind all those pictures, which is kind of fun. And I also wanna add a little Merry Christmas message. And you see it has a bunch of those little templates there. Those are, I'm gonna go to clip art. Maybe I'll find one there I like better. And you can just scroll through them and find the interesting ones that are there. Um, there was a little Merry Christmas one that I kind of liked. So let's see if I can find it. All kinds of little clip art things you can pop on there. So many choices. Little Christmas trees and presents. <laughs> oh, here, I think I might like this one to go with these. There we go. Let's just make that smaller and just put it right over that one. There we go. And so I actually kind of like this front of this card right now. And um, so I'm going to leave it like that. Now I'm going to go to the inside. So now on the inside, I'm going to do actually the same thing. I'm going to go back to my templates. I'm going to choose Christmas again. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put that picture that I had earlier. Christmas on the inside. And so let's go ahead and pick one that'll kind of go with the front. Now, of course, one thing that you can do, oh, I kind of like that one. So I could just go like this. Whoops, upload more pictures, I didn't mean to do that. There we go and put my picture like that on the inside. And then on the right side, I just click to add a message. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I'm gonna center that. You can do all those things with this um, function right here down. It pops up this nice little word um, management system. <laughs> and you can choose your font. No, I don't like that one. I kind of like the first one I had, that's nice. And I'm gonna make it a little bigger. I'm gonna change the color. If you click this little button that says more colors, it actually pops, and you go off of there, it pops up a little dropper. And you can go over anywhere on this page and you can pick up exactly the color you want. I know, big, cool thing, huh? And you can pick up any color and match it. So I'm gonna match that little ornament, say okay. Oh, now we have a nice one that matches all of that. And I'm gonna add another little message. Now the message I kind of want to be in my own handwriting. So there's a cool function in the system that allows you to upload your own handwriting feature. Now, you probably can't get yours done for the holidays this year yet, um, unless your cards go up kind of late because they usually take 10, 10 days to two weeks to um, be uploaded. But what you do is you fill out a form, you just put each letter in there, you mail it in, and then it gets uploaded into the system. So you can see mine is listed right here at the bottom. It says Jean. That's the Jean font. 
and I'm going to change the size back down to something smaller. I'm going to change it back to black. I'm going to change the just shade, and then I'm going to put deer, and I'm going to insert a first name. I really like that because um, it makes it feel really personal. Now you could do it instead of doing it here. You could say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, and then put their name right there. Insert name, and it'll put their name right into your greeting, which is a fun thing too. And wishing you a fabulous holiday season and a prosperous new year. Love you. And of course, along with your handwriting font, you get signatures. So if you click your signature, insert signature, you can see all, these are all the signatures that I've built for my system. I have Jean and Dale, which is the one I'm going to use, but I have Jean Barry, I have Jean with a heart, I have mom, because I send my kids stuff. <laughs> There's my husband, another Jean and Dale. There are my kids when they were little. They won't yet be, let me use those anymore, but when they were little, I put their signature into our holiday cards too. And so I include, let's see, Jean and Dale together. i make that a little bit bigger. Of course, if this was from both of us, I'd probably put a card, a picture that has both of us in it, right? Um, but I do want to show you something really fun. Actually, I'll show you that another example of a card. So when, when the card is exactly how you like it, all you need to do then is just click the continue button, the little blue button at the bottom. It's going to pop up and say you want to send a gift with that? Well, you certainly could. If you just have a few people you want to send cards and gifts to, you can pick a, a gift that will go to all of them. We have gifts for all kinds of occasions. You can see I have special occasions popped up. This is one of my favorite for birthdays. It's this fabulous candle that when you light it, it shoots up like fireworks, and then it opens up into 16 little candles and turns around and plays happy birthday. It is pretty dang awesome. <laughs> So I do send that with a lot of birthdays. Let's go ahead and look at seasonal, see what kind of Christmas things we have. Nothing very exciting. We don't want to do that. But the, we have the most amazing brownies and caramels on the planet. So I always recommend them. They're always quite fabulous. Becca agrees. Yes. Yes. <laughs> they Love the caramels. <laughs> Indeed. They are pretty awesome. And... I'm just looking to see if there's any seasonal special occasions. So you can see there's tons of categories, lots of things to look through and find the perfect gift that might match someone. And so you don't have to go to the store, wrap it up, get to the post office, send it off. It is all managed here. So some, even some beautiful things like this necklace is actually quite beautiful. Leaf pendant. Um, sometimes they have scarves in here. Um, there's candles, there's just all kinds of things. So feel free to peruse the gifts. I'm going to click continue without a gift. Now this is where it says, when do you want this to go? We're going to leave it, leave it set right here at immediate. But if you were actually sending a birthday card, you could actually click birthday and then choose five days before the birthday and it will send it then. You can also if you wanted, if you were doing this at the beginning of November and you wanted to send Christmas cards, you could say, no, I want it to send exactly on December 1st. You could simply choose, choose December 1st right here. And it will send the cards on December 1st. So that's a really cool function for doing something well in advance when you don't have to stress over it, right? No stress. So we're going to leave it at immediate and save the card and go back to the campaign. So this campaign is now completely done and ready to go. And so you can see it all here. They, uh, here's my return address. There's my card. It's set to be sent immediately. There are no gifts attached to it at this moment. And it has, whoops, on the back, if you scroll all the way here, you can see it. that's the back that we'll be using, the Merry Christmas, Happy New Year one. I'm gonna click Save Campaign, and that card is all done. Now to send this card in a campaign, all you need to do is go to now your contact manager. So the contact manager functions are all right here under your main menu. And you can upload your contacts. If you have your contacts right now in a spreadsheet of any sort, you are able to import them right from there. 
You can also build groups that allow you to sort who's going to get your cards depending on who they are and what they're for. And so I'm going to show you here my contact manager. If you want to import your contacts, if you haven't done that yet, when you click on this import function, you can see right down here there are four little helpful hints. I highly suggest watching the two minute tutorial on how to import contacts. It's actually really simple, but when you watch the tutorial, you find out exactly what you need to do to make it go. So that is a good thing. So you can import contacts there. You can, before you do that, you set up groups. So I have groups called holiday cards. So let's go ahead and find a contact. So to send that holiday card, we wanna choose who we're gonna send it to. So I'm gonna to scroll to the bottom. You can see these are all my groups. I'm gonna clear the group selection so none of them are selected. And I'm gonna go up here and click holiday card. Those are the people who get my holiday cards. In addition, I send my holiday cards to people for my business. I also send them to all my team members. And I send them to my clients and send out cards. So those are all the different groups that get my holiday card. So when I select those, I can click Find Contact and it's gonna pull up all of those people. That is only actually 192 clients. I must send it to, a, there must be another list. <laughs> I'll go find it, because I send out significantly more than that. <laughs> Um, and so if I wanted to send those right now, all I, you can see they're all checked right here. All I'd need to do is go up here and go to campaign, select Christmas 2017. You can see it's selected there and send campaign to check. You can see that it says calculating campaign. If this campaign will cost you 576 points and $97 in postage. It says I have enough money and points in my account to do that. If I click continue, it would actually send them. I'm not ready to send that card because actually my husband and I like to create our card together. And so we will, we will do something else. So that's not actually the card that I'm sending, but I could. And I would be done today. So that is the basics of sending holiday cards. And um, there are some little cool little tips and tricks to make them even more fancy than that. But I wanted to cover the basics first. And now I just kind of want to open it up to questions and um, comments and whatever else you got going on that I can help you out with. And, and perhaps let's go ahead and send some cards. Oh, I can't hear you, Pamela. I have two questions when you get a chance. OK. Ready? Um, OK, go back up. And then Pamela will pop up. Yep. The first one is um, if you if you did not have enough in your accounts yet and you clicked continue, would it give you an opportunity at that point to add some more um, to, to give your credit card number and pay some more? Yes. Yes. Okay. So you don't lose your work of, at any point in there. It'll just say, you don't have enough. Would you yeah. like to buy some more? And okay. You <laughs> cool. <laughs> and the other one is um, this is about like the insert name thing. Mm -hmm. So if you have somebody in there and you have their spouse listed too, mm -hmm. and their spouse has three names, like they have a different last name than the per in the contact, and their name is Mary Ann with the last name. Right. You make it so it's going to insert Mary Ann. Yeah, that that is an excellent question, and this is how we have traversed it. Most people kind of do it this way um, because at this point, it simply doesn't have the system okay. to, to manage that. Yeah. So in my holiday card list, it says John and Sue as the first name. Okay. So I only use the first name function. But of course, they each have their own birthday. So what I end up having is I have them in my contacts three times. I have John Smith, I have Sue Smith, and I have John and Sue Smith. Okay. And that way for holiday cards, on the front of the card itself, it will print correctly. So if they have different last names, it will say Sue Jones and John, and then in the, the last name field, it says Smith. 
Now that does not resolve the issue of what goes in the first name field, right? right. <laughs> because now we have a problem in the first name field because it says Sue, Jones, and John, which right. is kind of silly. And so what I end up doing on those people is I will click send on the campaign and then I go back in and I correct those five people. Okay. There's usually about five of them on my list that I need to go find. <laughs> And, and do you just them. manually correct it instead yeah. of so I open up the card that's in the in the file to send yeah. and I um, and I change it instead of saying first name I take that field out and it just put in John and Sue and it won't affect any of the rest of your cards correct correct now the only challenge at holiday season is that at some point usually about the tenth of December sometimes before that. You will get a message from send out cards that says we've moved to two a day processing which means they've hit capacity for evening processing and they're also processing midday which means instead of having till midnight to change the cards you have till noon or whatever the cutout time is it only happens at christmas time it doesn't happen any other time of the year and they usually send an email well in advance to let you know that that has happened they're doing that on December 1st. Oh, it is yeah. today, tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow. Okay. So starting yeah. tomorrow. So what some people do with their campaigns is instead of, you remember in that field where it says send immediately, they choose a different day. They say send on December 4th. And so when they hit send on December 2nd, they have two days to go fix everything. Good point. Cool. Idea. Thank you. You're welcome. Those were excellent questions. Um, so I just um, I just wanted to mention one thing that um, Send Out Cards has got great support. Maybe you could show the chat feature. Mm, of course. Yes. Yeah, so down here in the right hand corner, you can see this little blue blob. <laughs> I don't know what is that supposed to mean. <laughs> I guess it's a little talk icon. <laughs> and if you click on it. It opens up conversations with send out cards. And you can see I've had quite a few. They, um, and they've answered them and they've made them fabulous. So 23 hours ago, I answered, I sent a question, they answered, and now they're fixing it. Um, so if you click on new conversation, it simply opens up a, a conversation bubble. At Christmas time, they're saying they're typically replying in under two hours. That is less the time that it takes you to hang out with hold, on hold with them right now. I was on hold for one hour to get customer service two days ago. Oh. Just so you know. Okay. <laughs> and I got an answer on the chat in one hour also, but it was way less stressful. <laughs> <laughs> so the chat function actually is really quite helpful and fabulous. Um, what most people use that for at this time of year are address imports, like they're having some sort of trouble with address imports. The customer service can absolutely help with that. They're extraordinary at it. Um, and if you do want to call them, you, like you find that easier to talk to a real person, I would call right at 7 a.m. And that's 7 a.m. Mountain Time. And um, you will most likely catch them faster than the hour wait. Okay. Um, anything else about that, Pamela? No, you covered it beautifully. Okay, cool. Yep. I think that's as close. I don't know how to close it. New conversation. Oh, there it is close. <laughs> All right. Um, and so, does anyone have, is anyone going to work on their card today or do their holiday card or is there something that I can specifically help you with that you're going to actually, you're going to actually get the work done because that's how I build this, get it done, right? <laughs> you're sitting here now, could you actually get your holiday card done? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'll loan you my little hat. In fact, <laughs> if you don't have a hat, there's a little clip art that will put a hat on you. And so, <laughs> so just take a selfie, go in there, drop it in, put the little clipboard hat on you, and you will be done. It will be fabulous. There you go. Nice. <laughs> nice.
Yeah, thank well, you. Actually, I was going to show you some some of my samples. So let me pull out my canteen manager and I'll show you some of my past Christmas cards because some of them are pretty cool, <laughs> if I do say so myself. Um, you can see in my campaigns, I actually separated out two different cards last year. I had one called clients and one that was just for family. Um, and it came down to me for a languaging issue, what I actually want to send to clients compared to what I want to send to my friends and family. And so I did end up separating those out into two separate cards. I, I had the same card, but I had different language. So this is the card I sent out last year. And you can see I used that little believe template for the front. Whoops. Let's go to the front. And then I just, this is a selfie I took in front of Lake Travis. <laughs> but it seemed to kind of work. And so I just used the nice black believe template, which is kind of fun. And then on the inside, we, hit, we were at a rodeo. They had these longhorns. We took our picture. So what's fun about this is you can actually span the picture. So you can see there's the picture right there that I drug over. But when you click the span button, it will span it across the entire inside of the card. And even if you do a big card, it will um, modify it so that the resolution is still good. If it is not good, it's gonna tell you that by putting a little um, exclamation point at the bottom of your picture. And you will see it listed on your picture and it will suggest that it's not got enough resolution. That mostly happens with pictures you pick up like off of social media and that kind of thing. Um, I have used them anyway many times. And when I get them, I'm like, huh, that's okay. <laughs> so um, usually what I'll do is grab a corner of it and just make it smaller and smaller until it shows the size that it thinks it should be. And if it's not that far away, then I think it's okay. Hey, Connie, you popped in. Nice yeah. to see you here. Yay. Hi. How are you? Good. I just got home from work. Oh, and... beautiful. I'm glad you were able to pop on. I haven't seen you in forever. <laughs> right, right, right. So Connie lives in Minnesota, and she is a travel goddess and takes um, people all around the world to amazingly fabulous places. You want to, where have you been recently, Connie? Well, I was in Ireland for two weeks in September. Nice. Um, with, uh, with my family and then um, a week with other friends. Oh, beautiful. Excellent. And do you have so any it um, travel trips planned that people can go with you on? Well, I'm uh, looking for people for March to Mexico. Ooh. Where are you going to Mexico? Um, the Yucatan Peninsula. Mm, always beautiful. <laughs> yeah. And warm. <laughs> and warm, it's true. <laughs> and it looks like you're having a ball down in Austin. It's true. It's been lovely. I like Austin. <laughs> good. good, good. Well, excellent. Yeah, so Connie, we're just I just walked through a demo of, of sending cards, but you know, if you have any questions or we can actually help you um, get a card done today, that would be awesome. Or if you haven't been in your system for a while and just have some questions, we can help you with that too. Well, I haven't been in my system for a very long time. Excellent. But I was, have some pretty cute pictures. I thought I might make a Christmas card this year. Beautiful. Excellent. Um, I know. With that much travel. I have no idea. Cards. Yeah, so, yes. you, so I'm just going to show some demo cards, and, and so if you want to open up your system yeah. and, you know, as, if you want to start pulling it up and, and have questions along the way, just unmute yourself and, or just start talking, and, <laughs> and that'll be perfect. All right, so let me go ahead and – so that was last year's card. And then the – Yes, it was adorable. <laughs> 
So the year before, I don't remember what I said the year before, so let's go look. Oh, this was, so this was a three panel card actually. And so I like the three panel card cards, especially for people who have been used to sending like a big old letter along with their stuff. This is, this is when I use the three panel cards. And so I felt like I had all kinds of things to say. So this was the front of the card. I used, again, one of those little templates, right? I just pulled that template in and then put in a card um, from when my family and um, in-laws went to Nova Scotia. And so drop that card on the front. And then the inside, you can see there's three panels. Yay! <laughs> so exciting. And so I just decided to use each panel to feature part of my family. And so um, that was very fun. And, um, and then you get one extra feature. Of course, there's an extra panel because of the three panel. There's the front of that panel too. And so I put a message there also. And then that didn't even include the back, right? So there's still the back of the card to put a message as well. So the three panel cards are totally fun. I really do like doing the three panel ones. There's lots of room to say what you want, do what you want, put all those things on there. So that is pretty awesome too. That was 2015. Let's see what we had before that. See, I don't remember any of these cards, so. <laughs> Continue. Probably see lots of pictures of my kids, I imagine. Oh, yeah, I did a three panel card that year, too. Well, and this was pretty with the blues and everything else. Um, so we did some family pictures it looks like and dropped on there again I just used a template but then I also grabbed these little ornaments they're actually just clip art that are in the elements section and I just dropped those little ornaments on which is kind of fun and then the inside of this again I did little pictures of each person and um, pop them all in and that's pretty fun. pretty fun. And are those templates, the each panel of that, is that based on a template, Jean? You know, this one, no. I did not template these ones. What I did is I picked up a frame that matched the front uh -huh. and put each picture in it. So that's, you know, you can see I spent a little more time on, the on, the, on making this Christmas card because each one of these is an element, these um, little ornaments were little ornaments that I dropped in, and these little um, snowflakes. Those are another little ornament, another little thing that I just dropped in there. And um, yeah, and then these were just the little ornaments that, and I found them all just in the elements area. Usually things that are similar are bundled together so you can see each one. Um, and, and, and ones that go together. Um, and sometimes there's not something that matches so you can make something up. <laughs> And then what did I put on the panel on that one? Whoops, stop that. And then there's the panel. Oh, and I did a little tribute to my mom. My mom died that year. And so I did a little tribute to my mom. And we did a little travel. So I put some travel pictures there too. So yeah, you can, you can pack a lot of stuff in a three panel card. <laughs> That was 2014. We'll just go look at 2013 just for kicks because we're here. <laughs> well, apparently I was on that three panel thing for a few years. <laughs> But there's plenty of templates, right? You can do something different on every single one. More kids, more pictures, more stories. These ones were, this one looks like it was a template or maybe it was a background, it looks like. I bet that's just a background picture that I popped on all those. Whoops. And then the, sure, and there's the, the panel on that one. And then this little, just little holiday joy thing was another little clip art. Mm -hmm. at, at the holidays, they give you lots of clip arts. <laughs> and actually, honestly, the rest of the year, I just don't take time to look for them. 
you know, if you're going to spend some time on it, tell me which ones are in Valentine's. I know which ones are Valentine's cards, right? <laughs> I spend a lot of time on my Valentine's cards. <laughs> uh, let's see. Geez, I'm going to go back. Okay, 2010. What do you suppose I did then? <laughs> Oh, we just did a two panel for that one. And just highlighted our kids on the front, two boys on the front, and then just did a spanned photo on the inside. Aren't we cute? There we go. So <laughs> All right, so yeah, you know, you can see I have hundreds of campaigns that I've built over the years, um, go on and on. Valentine's, of course, I have one for every year too. <laughs> All right, any other questions that I can answer about holiday cards or getting it done or any of those kind of things? This might be beyond the scope of this call, but you mentioned it, so I'm going to ask it anyway. If you were going to send this Christmas card plus a birthday card plus a Valentine's card to the same person, can you show how to do that? Or is Absolutely, because it's actually not any much different at all than what we just, whoops, I hit how to campaign instead of campaigns, campaign managers. So when you're in a campaign, you could, for instance, create a new campaign that's 2018. We're just going to call this campaign 2018 and it's all the cards people are going to get in 2018. And if we just picked up one of these that was say our Christmas one, we'll do this on my Christmas 2017. We could actually, we have this card created instead of having it set to be sent immediate, we would change that date to December 1st or 5th or whatever day we actually want the cards to go to. Then we would simply create a new card for this campaign. It's now named card two. We hit continue. Say we want a birthday card to come. We choose a birthday card, whatever that one is. It's your potty inside. Uh, Hope your day is fabulous. Okay, that's pretty silly. We'll choose it. <laughs> Create that card. So now we have a birthday card. We say love us. Whoops, not Kive. Love. <laughs> Love, Jean and Dale. Okay, so there we go. Continue. Continue without a gift. Unless, of course, I want to send everybody. And now on this one, I'm going to choose send on birthday. And I'm going to send it five days before. It says before birthday. Okay, so that's what I've got listed here. Save card, go back to campaigns. So now I've got a campaign that has two cards in it. One set to be sent immediately or on, on December 1st, and one set five days before their birthday. If I wanna send them a Valentine's card to see how easy that is, I just create a new card for this campaign and then choose the send date to be uh, February 8th, a week before Valentine's Day. Cool. And so, it, of course, they don't need to all be for holidays. They can certainly be for, um, okay, see you, Lisa. Um, they can certainly be for, um, for just spring or, you know, what, however often you want them to go. Or especially if you have, with your nonprofit, it could be for fundraising season, you know, like, and then maybe one of those cards is actually a request. And so we like to use the 20% the rule, which is 80% of the cards are just for love. 20% can be an ask of some sort. And so I, I like to just say, I'm going to send five cards to my clients a year. One of them is going to ask them to do something. All the rest are just for love. Nice. Did everybody else just leave? Apparently they did. <laughs> <laughs> it's just us. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Apparently we've, we've reached the limit. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> so Jean, would you, when you do this, if you set up the Christmas card, the birthday card, the Valentine's Day card, would you then save this campaign and call it 2018 Dad 
you know, whoever, whoever's thing you create. Yeah, if it's only for them, then yeah, I probably would. Okay. Um, it, it, it sometimes, you know, yeah, I probably would. If it was for, you know, if I was going to use kind of the template and built it kind of generically, then I could send it to a whole bunch of people. And then when I click send to dad, I can go in and say, dad, you're the best. You're the, you're the best dad ever. You know, I can add those kind of things to that campaign. And it's going to be sitting up there under his contact until yeah. those cards send. So I have until five days before his birthday to go in and change it, add a gift, do, you know, do what I want to do to that card. But it's all cued. And if I forget, it means the card's going. Yeah. Cool. So I could actually set this up for program members so they would get a holiday, a Christmas card, they would get a birthday card, and all their birthdays are in there. But the birthday card would be kind of generic, but it would go to them with their first name if I do insert name. Exactly. Okay, cool. Cool. And if I decided I wanted to stick a picture of them, like before it sends, I can do that just on theirs. Yes. Yep. Okay. Absolutely. I'm just reviewing in my head. Is this right? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So you can either find those cards that haven't sent yet yeah. under, um, let's go find it here. It's under view unfulfilled campaigns. Okay. And so all those cards that are sitting out there that you've queued that haven't sent yet will pop up under there. I probably don't have any because I, oh yeah, I have a couple. Cool. So, oh yeah. Cause I, I, I pre-planned a bunch of birthday cards this month because yeah. I, wasn't ready to do them yet. <laughs> Although it says the 27th, they should have gone. Huh. Well, yours oh, there's one for me. Yeah, there's <laughs> one for you. Oh, because it's welcome. Oh, see, now I have to change it. Now I have to send you the one that's welcome as a distributor, right? So I'll probably, okay. so what I need to do is cancel that one. Uh -huh. So I could actually click on that, cancel the selected campaign because we're done with that, right? Because you're no longer a retail business account now I can and now I can go send you the welcome to be a distributor cool because I have a campaign for that <laughs> nice cool I need to I don't know about those birthday cards though that worries me a little bit yeah. <laughs> and we're past the 27th what the heck yeah. <laughs> did they not go let me go find them find contact one was There she is, you. And when is her actual birthday? So her birthday is on the 6th. And I can go click here to see the cards sent to her. Oh no, it's actually scheduled on the 29th because her birthday's on the 6th. So that's good. I don't know why it said the 27th on there. Maybe that's the day I hit send. I don't uh, know. Mm -hmm. But it's actually queued for the 29th. So perfect. Okay, good. <laughs> We're covered. It's all good. <laughs> all right. Nice. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's a pretty simple system. And it's just finding all those little things, right? That it makes it clean. Yeah. Yeah. I know you're still recording this, so I'm not going to ask the question. But it, it, at some point, I want you to show me how to do a gift account for one of the new people. Okay, well, you know what? We'll go ahead and stop recording. I'm going to stop the share.